Alright guys, so Vanya will cook ginataang langka for today. So, yes. Mama will teach him, but I will cook. No, I will not teach him. I will just let him do whatever. <laughs> whatever he wants. Basta kay, I will just give him the ingredients. <laughs> hmm. That's a challenge for today. Now it's time for squeezing out those. Should I put here? Oh, well, you can put it somewhere. Okay, and now Vanya is preparing onions and garlic for his menu. Okay, guys. Uh, right now we're going to chop uh, jackfruit. Yes, and later on we're going to. I don't know, maybe boiled with, oh no, with uh, coconut milk. The chef is ready! Okay, at first I'm going to angloto ajos and cebuyas, cebuyas and ajos, yeah? Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some mantika. Add some mantika. It fires up. Turn on the fire. Where's mantika? So that means, guys, it's not his kitchen. He doesn't know the mantika. Fire! If you see it's a little brown, you can put it then burning can. Starts to brown. Then you can put it. Put it. And we're going to wait up until it's cooked. What you can say about that? Ready? Yeah. I think it's about 10 minutes to cook. Mm -hmm. uh, look guys, it must be soft. And turn brown. Yeah, turn brown. And also you must always check and add it salt if you like it or not. Okay, guys, and right now we're going to add some uh, paté seasoning. Yes, it's uh, like fish sauce. Put the mic. Look, guys, Petrovich hunting on, I think, tiki. Yes, and we right now going to eat our food, what I cook. How do you call this, my? Ginataang. Ginataang? What? Langka. Langka? Mm, or langka. Mm -hmm. 
like that it stays great let me kaya what you can say about that Hey guys, so we have here, these are watermelons and look, I think they need to be transferred. These are supposed to be melons, but they didn't grow or not yet. These watermelons just grow faster, maybe. I hope so. But um, maybe in a few weeks or a few days, if still not growing, then we'll buy new seeds because the seeds that I that I use for this melon, uh, the expiration date is going to be next month. So maybe it's not really good or yeah, not good anymore. So right now we'll be transferring these into small pots like these. And these are, you know, what are these? These are grapes. So I'll be also transferring these in a big container. So we have like this water container. So I will use these to transfer it. We actually have four. I don't know if this is also um, grape, but it looks like, and I hope so. So we'll have five. Right. All right. So I water it first, for it for it to stand up, so it will become more rigid. They will not be fragile if we transfer them. Right. And also, so that the soil will be soft it will be easier for us to transfer it since i watered the watermelon let's water as well these melons or cantaloupe hoping they will grow in few days what do you think i will update you with this one but if not then we'll have to buy new seeds and trying to grow because I'm sure it will really grow here in our place because I see people in the like it's like a black market it's not really a market that people just um, selling goods beside the street so I see them selling melons so I know it will really grow here so we have to Try and try until we can produce melons and watermelons. So this is where we're going to transfer the, the watermelons. These are small containers, the size, oh, their size is 13 by 12 watt. Sinti, I don't know. <laughs> 13 by 12 watt. <laughs> not so not so what they call this math person right now and also I have here good soil pops uh, collected the soil from from here in our lot and we also have this sack of soil it's not really full but uh, I hope it's enough so we'll start Now, I finished transferring them, so let's water it. There are some left actually, so we will transfer these later on once they're a little bit bigger. And some didn't sprout yet, like these, not yet this one and this one so we will transfer them next time this one they're ready Bye. 
We are recycling our bottles, our containers, because we will plant here our grapes for the meantime. This is our multi-function kubo. And this is our very, whoa, very cute cat. And always hungry cat. Always hungry. <laughs> 